invented radar systems backstory Watson Watt was a Scot who first became interested in uses for radio waves at University College in Dundee. It's one of the few things to do around there, except for the popular local pastime of comparing regular-sized knives to significantly larger knives. Oh good, some of you are also in your 30s. Nice to see you guys. Eureka! There had been experiments with various applications for radio waves for years, but efforts to develop sophisticated detection systems accelerated during wartime. While Britain was fighting WWI, Watson Watt developed a system for using radio waves to detect bad weather so that pilots could be warned about it in advance. Then, in 1935, Watson Watt published an important paper called The Detection of Aircraft by Radio Methods, which attracted the interest of the Air Ministry. They were also very interested in rumors that Nazi Germany had developed a radio wave-powered death ray, but experiments into this technology proved less than fruitful. Now working for the Air Ministry, Watson Watt successfully demonstrated that radio waves could be used to detect incoming bombers, and was tasked with setting up radar stations across the eastern and southern coasts of England. In recognition of his work towards the war effort, Watson Watt was knighted in 1942, and he later received PS 50,000 from the British government in recognition of his development of radar. So what happened? According to Watson Watt's autobiography, The Pulse of Radar, he was pulled over in 1956 for speeding by Canadian police armed with, wait for it, a radar gun. He was fined. Fifty in Canadian dollars. About in you. Dollars today, actually, no, I still have no idea. There is even a poem, Rough Justice, attributed to Watson Watt, noting the irony of the whole affair. Pity Sir Watson Watt, strange target of this radar plot. Vladimir Pokoko. He invented, helped develop Tetris backstory. Vladimir Pokoko was a Russian entrepreneur and academic. He and friend Alexei Pajitno, computer programmer, started a series of businesses together, including the gaming and 3D software technology company Anima Tech. One of Anima Tech's most popular products was Elfish, an MSDOS fish tank simulator that was stored on five separate diskettes. Because computers in the 80s were super awesome, Eureka, Paget Knob is typically credited with creating the iconic video game Tetris. However, Pukilko was an important early supporter and collaborator, and performed influential experiments using the game as part of a clinical psychology program. In other words, Pajitkov may have been the square pieces and the longest ones that bend at the ends, but Pukilko was the four block tall pieces that you always end up needing to get a Tetris. You get what I'm saying. So what happened? Neither Pajitkov nor Pakilko earned royalties from the massive worldwide success of Tetris, as the Soviet government had forced them to sign over the rights to the game in 1986 before it had been published. Pakilko later admitted that they feared for their lives if they refused to give up their ownership of the game. Then, in September of 1998, with Animatech facing a grim financial future, and his anger over not being included in a recent Tetris Anniversary Edition payday boiling over, Pilko did the unthinkable. He murdered his wife and 12-year-old son, and then killed himself in his Palo Alto, California, home. Edward Palmer Edward Palmer James Douglas, 4th Earl of Morton James Douglas, 4th Earl of Morton Alexander Bogdanov Alexander Bogdanov
God tonight. Marie Curie. Marie Curie. I see. Lie C. Carl Bonish. Carl Bonish. Thomas Andrews. Thomas Andrews. Fred Dusenberg. Fred Dusenberg. William Bullock. William Bullock. Parallels of Athens. Parallels of Athens. Gary Kremen. Gary Kremen. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and i look forward to see you in the next video then okay bye